Hey, welcome to Is It Worth a Sandwich? I'm Zach Funk. I'm Joe Kira. And today, I'm going to be guessing some Pokemon types. Joe, tell the audience at home what I'll be doing. All right, so I've come up with a little game uh, here where I've selected 20 Pokemon, and Zach is going to have to try and guess which uh, type they are, or types. We're not uh, biased here. Yeah, I, I have not played a Pokemon game fully through, at least since the original. I know there are a ton more. I know there are types. I don't know any of them, so it's going to be exciting and it's going it to be is, wrong. It's going to be very exciting and probably a lot wrong. Uh, here's kind of the, the criteria. I figured if Zach can get 14 out of the 20 correct, um, I would call that Pokemon Master. Okay. If he gets half right, uh, maybe like okay Pokemon trainer, like the guy who sort of maybe finishes one of the games. So if I get 10 out of 20, you can say, like, I can be the averagest like no one ever was. Yes, right? Exactly. Exactly like that. Okay. Uh, and if he gets less than 10, um, I'm gonna have Gary Oak tell him to smell you later. Alright. I wanna be the averagest like no one ever was. If it is a multi-type Pokemon and Zack uh, gets one of the types right, I will give him half a point for that. All right, are you ready to get started? I am uh, I am as ready as I was going into Detective Pikachu. All right, and you knew none of those Pokemon, so <laughs> <Yeah>. let's go. <laughs> All right, so some of these Pokemon, obviously this is the first one to set things up that I was supposed to show you during the intro. Obviously some here are a little easier to figure out. Uh, Mareep uh, obviously is an electric type, but Chingling, uh, that's well, a- Wait, yeah. That is a psychic type. No, no, hold, hold on. The sheep is is an electric type. Yes. Like, like, I, I guess you use an electric razor to shear a sheep. Is that? No, no, it's an electric sheep. It, it's actually um, uh, do androids dream of electric sheep reference? <laughs> okay, I can respect that. <laughs> but uh, Chingling there is not a steel type. It is a psychic type. I was just kind of using that as an example to kind of get it, Zach started. It looks like a Christmas bell. Yes. That is probably actually what the uh, thing for it is. I don't know. I've never raised one. I don't know what they're like. All right. So the first Pokemon, Alolan Persian. What type do you think Alolan Persian it is? It is only one type. Um. Not lasagna type. I can tell you that. <laughs> uh, I'm going to say it is a... Dark type, because all cats are dark. You are correct! Oh my god! Zach got a point! Maybe the only one he'll get! <laughs> all cats are inherent. Alright, Pseudo Wudo. I'll give you a hint, I've put this one on here as a trap. Okay, so the obvious thing I, I would assume then uh, is, to, is I should believe it's a fire type. Yes. Um, I'm gonna say it's a ground type, because trees grow in the ground. You were very close. It is a rock type. That's not what rocks look like. Yeah, it's pretend. It's a rock pretending to be a tree. To hide from other rocks and rock-eating predators. So are the ball things like just hands. Gr green rocks? That, yeah. So, so upon for close inspection, it's a horrible disguise. Yes, upon closer inspection, it is a horrible disguise. In the original game, you would spray it with a water bottle, and that was how it would move out of the way. So it would let you pass through an area. Okay. You just couldn't... I wouldn't think to use rock smash on a tree, so that's fair. All right. That is... <laughs> uh, that is a Fox News type. Um, uh, it, that is uh, two types. Yeah, yeah. I, I remember seeing that thing uh, serving drinks in Detective Pikachu. Mm-hmm. Um, and, yeah, that is a... Um... Wow. I'm not going to try and pronounce it because I would get it wrong and the internet will be mad at me. Ludicolum? Yeah. Um, uh, I'm going to say... I'm going to say grass and water because that's what tequila is made out of. Correct! <laughs> that is correct. It is the tequila Pokemon. <laughs> it is always drunk and extremely racially insensitive. Yeah, that's, um, that's Eleanor Shellstrap's favorite Pokemon. All right. Halo Sand. This one is also two types. Okay. Um. Say ground and um. 
I don't know, it's a castle, so it's probably haunted, so it's either dark or ghost. I'm gonna go... dark. You were so close! It is dark and ghost! Ground and ghost. Ground and ghost, sorry. Dark sorry, I was, I was, so I got you, half a point. You got half a point for that one. I'm, I'm surprised, yeah. I, because, like, I saw that, it's like, oh, a nice groundwater type Pokemon. It's, no, no, it, 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 obviously in any kind of game like this, a castle is haunted. Alright, gloomy. Uh, this is a single uh, type. That that is a depression Pokemon. Yes. That like that looks like that thing from that like, commercial. Like, yeah. Has your depression been weighing you down, and this just follows you around a little rain cloud? So, what do you think Gloomy is? Or um, Gloomy? I'm gonna say it's a. Um... Oh man. Normal type. No, uh, I was expecting you were going to go poison type. It is a dragon. And the evolution does not get better. It just kind of looks like the thing that you don't want to touch your stuff. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I mean, the final version at least looks dragonish. But then, like, you would think poison because, you know, it's dripping goo from its hands. <laughs> All right. The next one, Mimic You. Oh, um... Is this one or two? This is two. This is the... Uh, oh, I've seen this one online uh, because it wants to be Pikachu because it's it's like it wants to be popular and it's not. Yeah, it um, wants to be loved and it just isn't. Yeah. Um, so this is a goth style Pokemon. Yes. Um, so I'm going to say... I did not include the goth style Pokemon. I'm going to say Dark Psychic. No, it is Ghost Fairy. Okay. All right. Dead fairies. That's pretty goth. Uh, Drapion. Um, Drapion. Something like that. Yeah, yeah. That's... The, the buff scorpion Pokemon. It needs lasers. It, it, it looks like it's like, come at me, bro. Yeah, no, it, it needs lasers. It needs laser shooting out of its tail. Um, I mean, you can do that. Let's just teach, teach Shiver Beam. <laughs> It's not the same. It needs like a little <laughs> graphic. Joe, add that in post. All right. um, I'm gonna say, it, is it one or two? It, this is two. Uh, Steel Bug. Uh, this is a poison dark Pokemon. <laughs> if you were trying to use things that would be effective against Steel uh, or uh, Bug, it would not have been effective here. Oddly enough, it's uh, first form. Is just a pure bug. Is a bug dark type okay. or bug poison? One of them. God, no! I'm as bad as you. Uh, Soul Rock. Okay, that Soul Rock. It looks like the tattoo on Henry Allen's back came to life and became a Pokemon. Okay. Um, I mean Soul Rock. Obviously, you would assume fire and rock. But then Soul what, means the sun. And but but then why would it be on this list unless I'm trying to oh, trick you? I asked. <laughs> Um, you're coughing lighting me. I guess. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna say it's a fire psychic. Um, you get half a point there. It is a rock psychic. Okay. Despite the obvious fire motif to it, Forlass. That is a sassy type Pokemon. Yes. That is, uh. That is. Oh my, the wealthy dowagers just dropped a, a baton. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever shall we do? Um. Is it one or two? This is two. Okay. Uh. I'm gonna say. Fairy Ice. Uh, you get half a point there. It is Ghost Ice, and this is the this is the other one that I created a little story for. So it starts out uh, life as a pure ice type, Snow Rut. Uh -huh. You then take um, I believe it's called a Sun Rock, and you give it to uh, the Pokemon, and then it turns into a Ghost Ice type because you melted it. <laughs> yep. <laughs> I appreciate that. Yeah. Yeah. Um. Decidui. All right. This is the uh, final evolution of the starter from one of them. Uh, this looks like a Pokemon doing the Green Arrow cosplay. Um, so Fair, gonna, fairly accurate. I was going to be like, you have failed Pallet Town. 
<laughs> um, I'm going to say it's uh, flying grass. Uh, you could have a point there. It is a ghost grass. <laughs> it's clearly alive. Yep. But it so uh, easily manages to avoid targets, it might as well be a ghost. Is That's I, not how that works. Is, I guess, the logic. <laughs> Claydol. This is also two types. <laughs> I... <laughs> Folks, you can't see it, but this is my... Uh, my speechless face kicked in for a second there. Because uh, I feel like this is like you would see this Pokemon on the ground there, just writhing, going, "Please kill me! <laughs> I wasn't meant to live." <laughs> so, Many Owl, what do you think Many Owl is? Oh, wait, what? Uh, that just the term that I oh. use for it because it looks like a bunch of owls mushed together. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna say it's a. Uh... Is that two types? This is two types, yes. Uh, it's a psychic, and it's a, um, screw it, it's a rock. You were very close, it's a psychic ground, you can have a point. I was hoping you were going to pick ground, because it's literally called Clay Doll. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Sunfisk. Sunfisk, it looks like. Yeah. Uh, okay, so let's see here. Um, is it one or two? This is two. Water and ground? Uh, you are half right. It is ground electric, despite the fact that it is clearly a fish. <laughs> now, also, just because I'm a little thrown off by this. So it, because didn't, like, ground cancel out electric? Wasn't yeah. that... So when you have something that's does it take both the weaknesses? Is it um, so like it, it, so ground cancels electric? So if you try and hit this thing with electricity, um, nothing happens. No, I, I understand that. Yeah. I mean, more so the idea of if there's Pokemon that are are made of two contrasting elements. Yeah, that just seems like that shouldn't be. Well, it shouldn't be, but there's a lot of them. Yeah. And, so, and a bunch of them on this list. Hi! <laughs> I'm a Pokemon that's made of matter and antimatter. Watch as we explode as I breathe. Alright. Keldeo. Um, that's a, um... That's, that's, that's a friendship as magic type. <laughs> and uh, it's just showing that ass. <laughs> it really is. I mean, it is, um... I just think it's odd that this is the image that they had up on Bulbapedia where I was getting all of these... <laughs> So, I'm going to say it's a... You know what, screw it, since you said there's a lot of these that cancel each other out, it's fire and ice. Uh, it is a water fighting. I do not know how you get water fighting out of that. <laughs> well, obviously, uh, the horse boxing. And, well, yeah, and, okay. And then, um, the water... Because it's blue. <laughs> uh, except for all the red. Yeah. I am deeply perplexed right now. As you should be. All right. Go lurk. Oh, I remember that thing from the movie as well. Yeah. Um, that is a mech type. Yes. Uh, so I'm going to say steel and... Um, steel and ghost goes to the machine. You get to have a point for that. It is ground and ghost. <laughs> so my guess part was correct, at least. Yes. So your your the 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 part that you threw in so there. Just don't logic it. Yeah. Don't logic this because it's it, the logic has no place here in Pokemon typing. Grumpig. This one's only one. That's a breakfast type. <laughs> yes. Um. Come on, that thing's just shimmying towards you, <laughs> doing its doing its it, dumb little dance. It, it, it is, and I hate it. <laughs> I'm gonna say it's um, uh, it's dark. Uh, that is a psychic type Pokemon. You can tell because it has balls on it, and <laughs> balls on it means psychic, apparently. See, I thought that was just like. <laughs> It's like shades that it put on. <laughs> it's like check it out, I'm a cool pig. I got my head, I got my shades up high, then I'll pull them down. And... 
and put them just on top of my head. No, that's just part of my body. That's right. Guess part of my weird, jiggly body. Uh, my future's so bright, I gotta wear poker shades. All right, Alolan Marowak. Um, this is another regional variant. The original Marowak was ground. This, however, is two types. Okay. It's gonna be a... Um, fighting Ghost. You get half a point there. It is Fire Ghost, because it's got the flaming stick. Yeah. I used that one when I played uh, the Alolan games. I, I liked it. Uh, Crovenite. I don't know. This one's new. I haven't okay, actually Cro seen it. Yeah. Crovenite yeah. makes sense. Yeah. Um, this one is also two. And little known fact, this Pokemon is very edgy looking. <laughs> yeah, it is. I mean, this is... Um... I feel like this is like the robotic ghost of Christmas past from the future's boss. Yes, very reasonable. I did, when he when he turned into the turkey tron, this is who sent him back in time. Uh, really, that is just evil. Mm -hmm. Like it's. Um... So what are you thinking? Dark flying. You get half a point. It is flying and steel type. Okay. Because it's a knight. Yeah. This one is a single type as well. Uh, solo. Solo something. Yeah. yeah, um... That... Uh... Solosis? Solosis? Yeah, sure. Um, I, I, I'm not sure, but I think in, in the South, at least, the general belief is Solosis begins at conception, judging by the look of that. I mean, um, yeah, it is the embryo Pokemon, I believe. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm not actually joking. I wow! I my brain I, hurts now. I, di I didn't put in the full evolution line later on, but I'll put that on screen for those who. <laughs> okay, so that is a poison. Psychic. Oh, Zach, you're not doing so well. Uh, Malamar that or is Malmar. A, that is a drag queen. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> that is... This one is also two types. Okay, it is a chic and fabulous type. Uh, that is... Yeah, all, all I see is Drag Queen. It's very, like, mm -hmm. Ursula. Um, I'm going to say Poison and Water. Psychic and Dark! I do not know why that is a Psychic and Dark Pokemon, but it is clearly... A, a squid. <laughs> yeah, that's um, okay. That's a choice. That is that is a choice, and that is a choice that was made by that fabulous, fabulous squid. Yeah, and this is the last one, Gorgeist. Um, so that's a ghost fire because it looks like a friggin' jack o' lantern. You would think it would be ghost fire and not ghost grass. <laughs> nah. So, another half point. And now, um, I'm going to go to the conclusion screen where we figure out how many points Zach got. How did he do? do, 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 do. I want to be the averagest, like no one ever was. To make some guesses, that is my cause. I don't know the words, no, I don't know. I don't know the words. It's very clear, because he only got... Seven points. Looks like he's gonna smell you later. <laughs> oh. So yes, yeah, Zach, not a Pokemon master, and we'll see how well he does when he plays Pokemon Shield. He's not doing it on the channel or anything. He's doing it in his free time. I uh, um, <laughs> yeah. You do not know your Pokemon, sir. Yeah, and you know what? I think I'm okay with that, actually. Yeah, it is a life choice. It is. <laughs> All right, well, thank you guys very much for joining us for this kind of weird little aside episode. Tune in next time where I show Jill obscure X-Men characters and ask him to describe their powers. I love it! <laughs> now you'll know how it feels.